Hello and welcome. It's now March 2016. I recently finished some new GUI work that I thought would be fun to share with a quick screencast video. In this screencast, I will show off inline event ports. Basically, this is a configurable option to reduce clutter that shows the signal and slot ports alongside the regular data flow ports. Also, we have a new mode to create connections. Click drag release. It feels a bit more efficient and fluid, and it has some nice highlighting effects to go along with it. And finally, using the mouse tracking from the new connection work, there is now an option to auto-hide the names of block ports. This looks quite nice and can also help to improve readability. For this slide, I nabbed some images from my blog. I just wanted to give an example of how the port orientation can affect the layout using the inline event ports. Notice the uh, orientation of the connections in the two images. You can see that overall, the second image has a more linear layout and less rotated blocks. I rather like the second version, but ultimately, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But I did spend less time fumbling with the blocks and connections using the inline ports mode. Anyway, onto the screencast. First off, we have some new options in the view menu that affect how the ports are rendered. Let's try them out. Let's enable the new inline orientation and create some connections. Go to View and click on Inline Block Event Ports. Notice the rotation. Now let's create a connection. We're going to click the Signal Emitter to the slot. Notice that a new slot port has been allocated underneath the very last input port and that the configuration dialog appeared immediately. We can click and connect the value change signal to the set frequency slot. Click Connect. And now we can switch back anytime and see the old orientation. While we're at it, let's show off the new automatic port hiding. Let's go to View and unselect Show Block Port Names. Notice that the names disappeared. However, we can hover over them and they'll appear. And if we click on something, they'll be forced to render as well. Now let's show off the new click, drag, and release connection mode and create a topology while we're at it. Let's go to view, unselect the old click connect mode, we're going to add a new block, let's do some settings, and let's make some connections here. So we're going to use a slider to modify a frequency and we're going to view it on the wave monitor. So let's go. So I'll click on the signal emitter and drag without releasing. I get a nice line and when I mouse over available connections that I can make this to, they highlight. So the body of the block highlights, that means I can connect to a slot. I'll release and the connection's made and I can configure it. Value changed, set frequency. Commit. Next, we'll do the same. So the waveform source, take the data, and we're going to deposit it in the input port of the wave monitor. Release. We have a new connection. Let's make some settings here. Insert the graphical items. And click Run. And there you have it. In addition, I'd like to show how this new connection mode works with breakers. So we're going to create a new graph page. Let's move a block there. Move it to other. Okay, so now we've got a breaker on either side. And let's show off how we create a connection to this. Let's remove the old connection. Again, we click and drag. The breaker will highlight we release and the connection's made. And we can also drag the breaker by going on the other side and clicking anywhere near where the tear off is. Same with the other breaker. Let's make a new connection. Click and drag anywhere on this region. And release. And we can go the other way as well. And we can click anywhere near the tear to drag and move it around. Well, that's the end of the screencast. If you want to try out the new work, you'll need to install the master branch of the Pothos GUI repo. 
Keep in mind that many of these new options will be defaulting to the old style, and you'll have to manually change them, at least until the next release. Please contact us if you have any questions or would like to give feedback. Thanks for watching.